Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a brand new release, 2019 Topps Gypsy Queen Baseball. This is a five-box, half-case, random team break, number one. And one spot gets you two teams in this break, so let's double you up like Sir Mix-a-Lot. Oh, double up. Oh, oh. There you go. It got doubled up right there. And all teams are in. So we sold 15 spots, doubled it up to make 30. And let's roll the dice seven times, three and a four, for each list, seven times. Your names first. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, we've got Donnie down to Donnie. And three and a four, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, three. Come on, random.org. We don't have time for this. There you go. There's three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, we've got the Marlins down to the A's. All right, so Donnie, you have the Marlins. Patrick K with the Astros. Mark with the Tigers. Patrick, you got my Dodgers. Johnny with the Reds. Paul with the Mets. Mario, you got the Rockies. Johnny with the White Sox. Colton, you got the Padres. Patrick with the Cubs. Miguel with the Nationals. Patrick with the Braves. Colton with the Rays. Paul, you got the Yankees and the Giants. Chris Parent with the O's. Miguel with one of your last spot mojos. Oh, there's your other one right there. Twins and Diamondbacks. Last spot mojo stars next to your name. Mark with the Pirates. Miguel with the Cardinals. Mark with the Indians. Mark Matson, Mark M with the Phillies, Mark F with the uh, Mariners, Paul with the Brew Crew, Mario with the Angels, Miguel with the Royals and the Rangers, Chris Parent with the Blue Jays, Mark F Red Sox, and Donnie with the A's. Let's alphabetize these by team. Any trades? Feel free to trade if you'd like. I let me drop the uh, variation guide just to keep an eye on that and. The checklist in the chat so you can kind of study that try to make some trades if you would like while you're thinking about trades and looking at the checklist let's see which five boxes we're gonna do So there is one, two, three, four, five on the left side, five on the right side. Let's see which die we're going to choose. Yahtzee? No, I got two sixes right here. No Yahtzee. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six. We will reserve this for next time. So this will be random team break two. There you go, so you can see number two written in all the boxes right here. Second half of the case is in the store right now. So if you wanna run this back, we can tonight. All right. Paul Nixon wondering if anybody wants the Giants. We'll give it a few moments. And we're, uh, we're down to 13 out of 15 spots in the next Gypsy Queen half case break. Um, 
We also have 2019 Tops Inception Baseball in the store, if anybody wants to do that. Full case, pick your team, 21 teams left. So visit jazbeescasebreaks.com for that. Um, I mean, with 21 teams left, chances are your team may still be there. So at least take a gander. All right, sorry, Paul. Looks like no, nobody wants the Giants. So TWC, trade window closed. Maybe some of that oppo, Joe Mojo will kick in. And let's print and we will rip. So here's what the box looks like. There you go. We got Otani on the front. Gypsy Queen. Two on-card autographs per box. Uh, 24 packs per box. It's the info back here. Blah, 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 blah. Some odds. Here's the final printout, hot off the presses. All right, good luck, ladies and gents. Oh, we got a little thing right there. So three chrome cards inside. Here we go. All right, good luck everybody. Baseball season is upon us, boys and girls. Tomorrow is opening day. Hope springs eternal. Let me know in the chat who's your team. What are your expectations for the season? What are you hoping for this season? My team's obviously the Dodgers. I guess a third World Series trip in a row. It's pretty unlikely, but that's what I'm hoping for. That's the goal every year. So that's what I'm hoping for. Hopefully this time winning it. They better. Otherwise the Dodgers may may be in danger of being the, the 1990s Braves. That's not good. I mean, it's, it's good, but. Landon saying, go Cubs, go. What do you expect out of the Cubs this year, Landon? Vegas doesn't seem to be too... Uh, too thrilled with their win total. Their win total is kind of low. Not a lot of people are, are high on the Braves, which I thought was interesting. Cardinals. That's, that's uh, I think that's Thomas Moore's team. Cardinals. I like the Cardinals. I think they're going to look pretty good this year. A lot of people picking uh, Miles Mikolas as a potential NL Cy Young Award winner. Go Braves. There, there you go. Patrick Case saying go Braves. Yeah, I don't know why Vegas is low on the, on the Braves. Gilo. He's a Royals guy. He's like just trying to get 500. You guys may, may have 500 stolen bases this year. I think the, the, the Royals really relying on a little bit of speed this year, it seems like. Yeah, maybe that's what Vegas is worried about too, Patrick. The Braves pitching rotation. Although they got some uh, young arms coming up the ranks, right? I think Kyle Wright, Ian Wright. Kyle Wright. Tuki Toussaint. Will be will probably be in the rotation at some point this season. He looks pretty good. Presley White is a White Sox fan. He's looking for first overall pick in 2020. I don't know if he'll be the worst team in baseball. That might go to somebody else. That might go to the Orioles. The Marlins are going to be especially bad. All right. Oh, and our first autograph is right here. Focus. There you go. Dylan Cousins. This is our first autograph, and that goes to the Fightin' Phils, the Phillies. There 
There you go. Phillies. That goes to Mark Matheson who got randomized the Phillies in this one. There'll be these different variations right here. 18 out of 50 for that black and white. And we're just going to do a quick check for those uh, bazooka back cards, which, is, which I think are pretty short printed, but we'll try to keep an eye out for those. We'll have these top loaded before they go out. Let's just sleeve them up for now. Out of 250, Ian Happ, Cubbies. And we've got the, these little mini cards right here, which will ship. Only veteran commons won't ship. Mario, what's up? A Johnny G saying A's will get another wild card. A's can be really interesting. They're always in play. Got these little tarot cards here. These are fun inserts. Another one of these minis right here. Don Manning. That's oh, nice. So there's one of those bazooka back cards. Um, there are some really short. There's some short print ones that are that are even harder, harder to find. Oh, uh, sorry, Mario. You got uh, you got randomized the Rockies. And we should have a second team. A Angels, Rockies and Angels. My expectations for the Dodgers, G Lo is asking. There's Mitch Hanniger for the Mariners. That'll be from uh, Mark F. I mean, Dodgers have to be able to win the division yet again, right? In a weaker, uh, weaker NL West. So that's got to be first, and then obviously. I mean, I don't know. The odds of the odds of a, any team going to the World Series twice in a row is extremely difficult. Three times in a row is even harder. <laughs> but that's what we're hoping for. Hoping for a World Series victory. Get that 30, 31 year monkey off our backs. There's Lorenzo Kane. And if I miss like a variation or something like that, our uh, our shipping team will be able to catch those. I'll take care of that. 50 out of 50, Lorenzo Kane. That's for the Brew Crew. Yeah, Gilo saying you can't imagine going twice and losing both times. I, I have to, I have to admit that the the Astros one definitely was definitely was worse than the Red Sox one. The Red Sox one, I felt like, well, you know, the Red Sox were a juggernaut, and I I felt I felt lucky that the Dodgers even got to the World Series, you know. So it, that wasn't really as bad as the Astros won, where I felt like the Dodgers should have should have won that one. I don't know. There's box one. Uh, John, it was uh, Mitch Hanniger and Dylan Cousins. And let's see, what, let's see what's in here. Nice. These Chrome Gypsy Queen cards are pretty cool. Or Shoei Otani from Mario. Well, it feels kind of cool too. It still has that uh, the Gypsy Queen back, but the Chrome Chrome front to it. It's a cool feeling. 
That's for Mario. There's uh, Eric Hosmer. Get the focus right there. Eric Hosmer for the Padres. Which goes to Colton. And there's Marcus Stroman for the Blue Jays. Uh, that'll be for Chris Parent. All right, that was box one. Here's box two. Yeah, Mitch Hander has been playing well. It's, I th Mariners are an interesting team. I think they, yeah, I think they've they've added some uh, a lot of great young pieces, and it could all come together pretty quickly for them. I think, and they've been known to spend money. So I think once their youngsters kind of get into a position a position where they think they can strike, I think they're they're a franchise that'll be willing to to plop down a couple big contracts. Like they have in the past with Beltre, with with Nelson Cruz, with Robinson Cano. So they'll be they'll be an interesting team to kind of keep an eye on over the next couple years or so. Yeah, I know some of the Jackie. I I think they may have a different. Uh, card code or card or code on the back of the card landing for those Jackie Robinson variations. Yeah, some of them you can just tell because they'll just be different uniforms and they'll show the number 42 on there, but some of them are hard to find, but we'll find them. I think that's what Nick was saying. Nick was saying that there there is some sort of number on or code on the back that'll That'll kind of reveal that. There's Austin Meadows, Tampa Bay Rays edition of Austin Meadows. That'll go to Colton Carver. Former Pirates prospect. Tampa Bay also an interesting team. They can make some noise. If they weren't in the uh, if they weren't in the AL East, if they were in the AL Central, <laughs> they wouldn't they would have been in the playoffs. You know, so all right. So there's Matt Davidson to two fifty, and there's uh, Jacob Degrom to two fifty. I can't really recognize him without the hair. Those will be top loaded before they ship out. That'll go to the Mets. Paul Nixon with the. Uh, Tarot card one, and the Matt Davidson will go to the White Sox, Johnny G, with that one. <laughs> no, that's not even him, Chilo. Oh, 
Oh, thanks, Sheila. That's not really. No one has time to actually do that. And Colin Moran is your next auto. That'll be for Mark F. Mark Frigo with that. This is autograph two out of there. So a pirate and then a former pirate. It's one of those uh, nameplate, blank, na missing nameplate ones. I'll try to spot as much of those variations as possible. And Bl Blake Trinan. Great season last year for the A's. Donnie with the A's, that variation. Travis Shaw. All right, it's 39 out of 50 on that Travis Shaw for the Brew Crew. And that'll be for Paul Nixon with the Brewers. Looking to see if there's any bazooka back cards right there. There's box two. All right, and then we've got Aaron Nola from the Chrome Pack. That'll be for the Phillies. Mark Matson with that one. There's Josh Hader. Nice one for the Brewers. Paul Nixon with that one. And looks like a numbered one right there. That's for Miguel and the Royals. Billy Hamilton, 72 out of 150 on that one. The Royals are going to steal a lot of bases this year. Oh, Billy Hamilton could steal like 50, 60 bases. Whit Merrifield can steal like 50, 60 bases right there. I think they've got some other guys who can probably steal too. They're gonna bring it. They're gonna bring it back. Bring it back to some uh, some old school baseball. Get on base, steal some bases, generate some runs. That might actually be. Believe it or not. A fun way to watch baseball. I think that's been the concern, right? A lot of, a lot of everyone's saying, oh, well, nothing really happens in baseball. He's like, everyone strikes out or you just wait for a home run. You know, so then that's why, ba you know, that's why Major League Baseball is kind of freaking out about pace of play. It's like, oh, the game needs to go faster. The game needs to go this. No, it doesn't matter how long the game takes. I think just something has to happen on the field. You know, you have to witness something happening around the bases. So it might be an interesting experiment, you know, that the Royals were kind of forced into doing in, in the midst of their rebuild. They're going to steal a lot of bases, and that's going to be really interesting, you know, because you're going to start seeing players, like, run around the bases, and it's like, oh, that's how it used to be, you know? So you might might see the Royals actually they might not win a lot of games but you might see some exciting baseball there. Yeah, Tyler like hey, I kind of like that kind of baseball. All right, I think it'll be interesting. Yeah, I've been trying to eye those too, Mark. Did I did I miss any? Yeah.
Uh, Regilo has got a little bit of a rant for us. So Whit Merrifield only has a 78 speed rating in MLB to show. He's at least like 83. Is he? I don't know. Sometimes you don't have to be fast to steal bases. You just have to have great timing. Maybe Whit Merrifield has good timing. All right, so Mark was reminding me, I've been trying to keep an eye out for those. Sometimes they replace these uh, Gypsy Queen right here with a with a face, different logo. So there's Jake Bowers, Tampa Bay Rays edition. That'll go to Colton Carver. Got him on my fantasy team. 37 out of 50 on that one. There's Justice Sheffield, 201 out of 250. His brother's in the Dodgers organization. He came from the Yankees. You could be, this could be an interesting person to keep an eye out for in your fantasy leagues. He's definitely going to get opportunities. Landon saying that those black and white autographs are one out of 313 packs. Nice. A nice short printed autograph for the Rays. It's a blank nameplate one right there. Hey, Mr. Mike's Daddy, what's going on? And there's Brad Keller for the Royals. Who's the Royals in this one? Miguel with the Royals. There you go. That's your second autograph of the box. Now let's see if we have any numbered cards here. Drift. So do the Schwarzer double check to make sure there are no vet inserts? Yes. It's so like obviously that's an insert. That'll ship even though it's Clayton Kershaw, right? Stuff like that will ship, and that's an insert as well. And they'll they'll be and obviously all the all the rookie cards will ship. So for the veterans, they'll be looking out for all the different variations. And we'll kind of fill those in. You know, but the Jackies may be hard to... Well, you just have to trust us then, Mario. <laughs> to that box top. Luis Arias. 
Luis Severino for the Yankees. Chris Davis with a K. For the A's, that'll be for Donnie. And is that gold, Carlos Santana? It is, 29 out of 50. That card is gold. Back to Cleveland for him. And that will be for uh, for Mark, Mark F. with the Tribe. All right, two boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. Uh, the second half of Gypsy Queen is in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. If you want to run back the second half of this case, brand new release just dropped today. On-card autographs, a fun old school, not even old school, like vintage design. Turn of the century, turn of last century vintage design. So if you're into that sort of stuff, this is the product for you. Or if you like new releases in general. A lot of fun variation hunting as well. So. Um, anyone have any uh, bold predictions? on like player awards and stuff like that. AL MVP, AL Cy Young, NL MVP, NL Cy Young. What does everyone have? I haven't really thought about it too much, but they've been talking about it all day on MOB Network. Yeah, it definitely has a Ginter-y feel to it. Except it's like pretty, it's like Ginter, slightly different design, and all baseball. But it is that sort of old classic uh, tobacco card style to it. Yeah, there is a carny feel to it, right? There's a little, little extra carnivalness to it. Yeah, with like the tarot cards and stuff like that. Bryce Wilson for the A's is your auto. Uh, Dunn did it. What are the hidden gems? What are hidden gems? Is this in this set? So that's for Patrick Kay and the Braves. There's Dylan Bundy. Ah, there we go. That's why we, we've been doing those checks. And that's Michael Brantley, Astros edition of Michael Brantley. Remember, he was picked up by the Strohs. That goes to Patrick Kay, and the Dylan Bundy will go to Chris Parent. That's out of 250, Chris. Knife over there. TJ thinks uh, for NL Cy Young, he's going to take a long shot. He's going to go with uh, Walker Bueller. I wouldn't mind that. That'd be nice. Wasn't numbered. Uh, I would love to sell out that NBA mixer, Dan. I think that would be pretty cool. Frankie, there are five boxes per half case, so there's ten boxes total. 
two autos per box, plus uh, box hoppers could have autos right there too. And nice, Christian Yelich, on card autograph, black and white. That'll go to um, Paul Nixon and the Brew Crew. There you go, Paul, the reigning NL MVP, 42 out of 50. Nice. We met him at the. Uh, at the Topps Industry Conference in Scottsdale not too long ago. Really nice dude. A lot of people talking about this guy possibly being a Cy Young candidate. Um, I, I don't know what the what the hidden gems are all about. I'm sure maybe we'll, we'll run into run across one of those in this set. There's the hidden blank nameplate, missing nameplate. Any other thoughts on, on, on award predictions? Tyler R. thinking he's going to go with Zach Wheeler as his dark horse Cy Young guy. All right, last box coming up. Uh, I don't know if they do a missing team logo. I haven't memorized all the variations in this set. Uh, let's see here. There's the variation guide. They got the missing nameplates. Um, there's the uh, the Gypsy Queen and GQ logo swap parallels. That's the middle. That's the uh, the middle thing right there. There's Dylan Bundy. They'll have the uh, bazooka back parallels, which we've been looking out for. We've spotted a couple already. There's Jesus Aguilar for the Brew Crew, and Yoan Moncada for the White Sox. They've got Oh, and there are there are variation codes. I thought there were variation codes. Good. So there are variation codes. Base short prints are cards number 301 to 320. Jackie Robinson variation number 328. So there's various codes there. Players Weekend Variation 331, and then there's 4th of July Variation 334. I'm going to switch screens just for a second right there so you can see all the different ones right there. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Anthony V saying, looks good. Is it worth it? Is what, this break worth it? I don't know that. That's kind of a hard question. Is it worth it? Just depends on if you like it, it's worth it. If you like this sort of design, this sort of style.
A lot of fun variations to chase. You know, a lot of sets to build. People get a lot of value out of that. I mean, if you get a Mike Trout autograph, you know, it's definitely gonna gonna cover the cost of your spot. Yeah, the, but there's a specific, a very specific audience that really likes this, really likes this set. If you're looking to, I mean, I guess with just like any other break, you know, get a Mike Trout autograph, Shohei Otani autograph, it's gonna make you some money, but. But yeah, I think I, I I think I think Mario is right. It's not really. It's, I mean, listen. You can get some monster hits out of here. But if you're looking to to like, I don't know, to rip and then flip. I think it's a little bit diff a little bit more difficult to say that you you would get something monstrous like that. This is certainly for for people who love because there's there's a huge audience that really loves this Gypsy Queen stuff. A lot of the variations and the short prints you can definitely make some money off of too. It's a lot like uh, it's a lot like Heritage. If you like Heritage, you're gonna like this. If you like Allen and Ginter, you'll like this. You know, every once in a while there's a, a monster autograph, low number of parallels, a lot of fun stuff. But definitely. Definitely for people who like this aesthetic. And there's a ton of people that do, so. This always does pretty well every year. I think Ginter is a little bit more popular, right? But I like Gypsy Queen as well. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Remember, we got another half in the store if you want to run this back. And there's Brandon Nemo. Nice. And there's on-card autographs. People really like that. Tops does a great job. Ensuring there's a lot of on cards in most of their sets. Yeah, some of those Chrome cards can be autographed. And someone was saying earlier, um, someone was saying earlier that even if there's an autograph in here, you'll still get the two autographs out of there. At a 250, Kevin Crimear. Uh, Jonathan's asking if the NFL mixer is next. If it's sold out, did it sell out? No, that still has five teams left. If it sells out after this, then that would be next. There's six left in the next Gypsy Queen. That could be next too. So if you want football, folks, fill it up before another before we knock out another Gypsy Queen break. And Corbin Burns is your second autograph out of here. Nice one. Brewers. That's another Brewer for Paul Nixon. Like 
And nice black and white, Gregory Polanco. Out of 50. Did I miss a weekend trout? How, how far back? That's one of those. Or was it a Cole Calhoun? There was a Cole Calhoun. Or did you see Mike Zunino in a blue jersey? You sure? How far how far back was it? That's the entire box right there. Wait, did I just pass it? <laughs> Am I blind? I'm losing my mind, folks. Oh, it was a Philly and not Mike Trout? <laughs> Mikhail Franco, maybe? I think you're losing your mind, Drift. <laughs> Did anyone else see the... Uh Mike Trout, there's Gregory Polanco. And I missed this, the missing nameplate one. I think you can go back in the video, rewind. Find that. There's Ramon Laureano. Joey Votto for the Reds. Okay, I'll look it up after the video. I'll look at this again after the video. Chris Archer to 150. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Random team uh, number one in the books. We'll find that Mike Trout, unless Mario is crazy. So those are all the cards right there. 
All right, folks, uh, that was Random Team 1. Five boxes of the brand new 2019 Gypsy Queen Baseball by Tops. Second half is in the store and already down, if I'm looking on this jazpiececasebreaks.com right now, down to two. So that might be our very next break. So there you go. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time for the next Gypsy Queen break. Bye-bye.